Hey Booktube, uh, welcome to another video. Hope you're all doing well. I apologize um, again for this video being not on a normal schedule and also we're gonna have a shaky camera. Um, I'm still at my parents' house. I don't have like anywhere to rest the camera. Um, but I thought I would talk today a little bit about how to deal with a reading slump because um, March has definitely been one of those for me. I came into March with some big plans to read, like for March of the Mammoths, um, read a bunch of big books, and then things got a little bit thrown around. Um, I, like, I've been in at my parents' house for most of the month, and so it means my work schedule's been all, like, not all over the place, but it's been a, a weird work schedule. And then in the afternoons, like, I just haven't really read that much. Um, and I fixed a little thing, a few things, um, and I thought I would just share, like, because it happens from time to time. I think everyone goes through a little bit of a reading slump from time to time, um, and I think it's useful to share some tips that I've picked up in terms of how to how to deal with them. So the first thing I'd say is figure out if the like what what is the cause of the reading slump um and i say this because if it's because you're not like you're there's something in your life that is keeping you from sorry my arm's getting a little bit tired that is keeping you from uh having the time to read having the energy to read having the uh, mental space to read then like you Reading shouldn't be your, like, number one priority, that you're not paying attention to other things um, and you're not paying attention to your mental health and things like that. So if those are the reasons, if, if, if the reason you can't, aren't, aren't reading a lot is because of something like that, then I would say then look at those things, see if there's something you can change that will allow you to read more, but don't be fixated on the fact that you're not reading a lot. Um, the second thing that might be is that you, the books you're reading, uh, are either you're not enjoying them, either they're a little bit too much of a stretch for you at the current time. Um, if they're really challenging books, might be a little bit of a stretch. If they're really slow books, um, really dense, like it can be, uh, it can be tough to sit down and make yourself read. Um, so. In that case, maybe go pick up another book. Like what, go look at your bookshelf and your TBR and decide like what's, what's something you just really want to read and try not to do this in a way that you're thinking about the like, what's the popular books at the moment, what you want to have an opinion on, what you feel like you should read so that you can say you've read it. Just like, what do you want to read? Like, what do you want to read right that moment? Um, and read it because I mean that's the goal isn't it is to read more and so if there's a book that you really want to read that you want to go pick up off your shelf and read a little bit of then do it um, and then the third the third thing that I would say is I don't know if is this the third thing I think it's the third I think it's the third one now um, the third one would be consider using a different format of book um, I know this can be a little bit of a controversial topic, but I think audiobooks are great. They aren't for every person, and they're not for every situation. Uh, for example, if you're reading very dense books uh, that require you to reference the notes and to reference statistics and things like that, you're not going to read Thomas P uh, Piketty's Capital or Capital and Ideology, for example, uh, you're not going to read like uh, as an audiobook. Um, you're not going to read, yeah, like and anything that's very very dense is going to be very challenging. Oh, sorry, that's my dogs. Um, anything that's dense like that is going to be very challenging. But other things like currently, I'm listening to the audiobook of. Actually, I think I've got a copy of it listening to an audiobook of John Krakauer's Into Thin Air um, because it's something that I want to get to 
um, but it's not going to be particularly complex, it's not going to be particularly dense. I think that's a great candidate for a, a book that you can listen to. And if it means that you're just, you're taking over some books while you're driving, while you're doing chores, while you're, you're just getting some inspiration for things. And eventually I think like the reading will come back. Um, everyone goes through slumps um, and don't put too much pressure on yourself for reading a certain number of books or a certain number of pages or reading certain books. Like it's all supposed to just be fun. It's supposed to be a hobby. So don't get too serious about it. And I think that everything will, will work out eventually. So just a short one today. Um, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.